Quick little recording about OBD Link and getting started. I'm sitting in my Tesla Model 3. So the car recently moved, but right now it's in park. But you know, the car is on, HVAC is on. And before you set out, you wanna make sure everything's working, right? You don't wanna be fiddling with Bluetooth when you're on the road to try to get any kind of OBD reading software uh, to show you what's going on. So let's go to settings and tap an OBD link. So in iOS 13 that I'm on now, for whatever reason, it doesn't automatically connect. Not sure why that is. Um, I never get it to auto-connect. Some people report it, sometimes auto-connects. I don't know. But anyhow, you want to do that. You want to manually set it to connected. Turning off and on Bluetooth won't help. It doesn't get it connected. All right, next, launch your app. Now, in my case, let's try Teslax. I think that's how you pronounce it. And, you know, we're in. We're all set. Now, if you try to use a second app that's also going to talk to the API, that's talking to the Bluetooth module, well, you may run into trouble. And by the way, if you open this app and you don't see activity like we're seeing, you want to click here and look at, I think it's accessories, and then tap on the OBD link. But in my case, it's running. Let's see if we can get that to show. And too bad there's a very loud airplane flying over. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you don't see any activity and you're worried, you tap on accessories. And right here, it says the word connected accessories, but actually you do need to tap with your thumb on the word OBD link MX plus right there, which I just did. And we're back. Okay, hopefully you followed all that. Now, what if we wanna go back and use some other app, like I said, that uses the same Bluetooth module. So we don't wanna force quit. All right, now that we force quit, how about scan my Tesla? So what I'm trying to say is, with a little bit of a care and attention, you can avoid distraction before setting on a journey, which really should be done by a you know co-pilot if you're actually on the road, right? So notice in the top left it says found one. You may need to wait up to 30 seconds for this thing to show sometimes. Not quite sure why that is, but that's how it is. And it's May of 2020, so I'm on the latest firmware on the OBD Link MX Plus. You'll want to use their app to update your firmware if you haven't already. And there it is. It took 30 seconds. I tried again, and now we're in. All right. Let's push my luck. Let's see if we can go back. So bottom left corner, we have an exit. So instead of needing to force quit, while well, in scan my Tesla, you essentially have a built-in force quit. Not sure. Let's try it. So I tap the exit on the bottom left. Now I'm opening up this again. Test lags, accessories, tap on OBD link, tap on I'm not driving, starting connection. It worked. Force quit. Okay, go back to scan my Tesla, which still showed. So it didn't seem like it really force quit. Tap an exit in the bottom left. Hard to say. And now um, yeah, we're good. Looked like for a second there we weren't. Uh, not sure why that's showing blank. How about I put the car in drive? It's working. And parked. All right, so this is turning into a video demo of sorts of both products. Let me just go ahead and finish with a little bit of a car movement with Tesla X. Tesla X, excuse me. Okay, tap, tap, tap. And it should be good to go shortly here. Bam. Turn the steering wheel a little. Love that. Top left there. The steering wheel's at 3.1 degrees now. Backing up the car. And putting the car in forward. And there you have it. Just using the built-in microphone on my phone, so the audio is not amazing, but hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com slash Tesla, where I have many articles about Tesla based on about 30,000 miles of experience with two Model 3s. Thank you again. Bye now.